everybody welcome back to my channel sorry about the really dodgy filming setup and lighting situation I'm currently on holiday in London so this is just the setup for today so it's back to school time and normally about this time of the year I would be uploading my back to school stationery haul but this year I'm not going back to school and I'm not starting uni just yet so I couldn't do a back to school stationery haul but I really wanted to do a back to school stationery haul because I filmed one for the past two years on my channel and I really like filming these videos and I feel really sad that I can't film one. So today I am filming my not back to school, not stationery haul because I'm not going back to school and I haven't bought any stationery but I want to film a video. <laughs> uh, okay, so right, basically what this video is going to be is me Imagining I'm buying my stationery for year 12 and thinking back to year 12 last year and how I organized all of my stuff and what stationery I need and recommending to you guys what stationery you buy for back to school specifically for year 11 and 12, um, the things that I used and the things that I found really useful and kind of my whole organization system for year 12. So, <clears throat> <clears throat> I got this idea because one of you guys messaged me on Instagram asking if I could help them set up for year 11 with what stationery to buy and I was like, oh yes, I can. And then I gave some fabulous advice um, <laughs> um, and then I was like, oh, I should film a video about this and give this advice to all of you. Okay, so we are going to start with files, binders, those things, whatever you call them. What I did for year 12 and what worked really well for me was I bought one big fat lever arch file for each of my five ATAR subjects and I used that file to file away all of the big notebooklets that I got in class and the worksheets that I got and all of my past tests and practice tests and pretty much all my information for every single subject um, as I collected it throughout the year I would file it away in the lever arch file for that subject and then I bought a smaller day binder which I took to and from school each day and that had my like current work for each subject so I put all subjects in the same day binder and it just had the current work that I was working on in class at that moment for each subject and that was really good for me because it meant I didn't need to lug unnecessary things to and from school I just had one little file that I could carry around with me everywhere and it also ended up being quite good because yeah I had all of my subjects in the one file so sometimes in class my teachers would give us kind of free study time to work on like any work that we had it was supposed to be for that subject but sometimes I would like because I had the work for all my other subjects there if I had something that I really urgently needed to get done for another subject I would then be able to just take that out of the file and do it in my other subjects class you know so it just gave me a bit more flexibility to have all of the work all of the current work for my subjects like all with me at the same time all the time if you know what I mean Okay, so that's kind of how I stored and transported all of my work. But then for my notes for each subject, now when I say these notes, I'm talking about the notes that I wrote and that I like took for each subject. So at the end of each topic for each subject, I would write notes for that topic. So for organic chemistry and then acids and bases and then equilibrium and then rates of reaction, they would all have notes that I would write, um, which I would base off the notes I'd been given in class and the textbook and the syllabus points. Um, and I kind of put all the important information onto my study notes and those are my study notes and so I wrote my study notes on loose leaf paper I actually just use plain like completely plain blank paper I prefer to use blank paper with no lines or anything to write my notes just because I prefer how it looks and I have quite small writing so then I can put more under one page so I didn't need to buy any special paper for that I just used you know the big fat stacks of like a4 blank white paper that you can get pretty cheaply so I wrote all of my notes on those and then the way that I stored my notes was I bought like flick files which are files with like clear plastic sleeves um here's a clear plastic sleeve things in them and you can just like shove the um your notes like into each thing and then when you open the file and you can you can like go through and your notes are all in the plastic sleeves and you can like go through them do you know what I mean so I bought one of those files for each subject and then as I went throughout the year, I'd put my notes in there, um, the first topic at the front and then all the way through to the last topic at the back. And that worked really, really well for me. That way I was able to keep my notes super organized. So if you're unsure as to how you're going to store your notes, I would recommend that. And I'd also recommend 
Like personally, I found it much better to write my notes on loose leaf paper rather than write them in a notebook for a couple of reasons. Number one, if I did something wrong, I didn't have to like rip the page out of the book. Um, I could just, you know, get a new piece of paper. Um, I didn't have to worry about running out of pages in my notebook. And also it meant that I could switch up the order of the, um, of my notes. So if you write all your notes and you have them in a certain order, in a notebook you obviously can't change the order of them. But in my flick files, I could just like take them out of that plastic sleeve and move them into that one and then move them around. So it allowed me just to have a lot more flexibility with the order I wanted my notes to be in. So I would, yeah, I'd definitely recommend doing it that way rather than writing your final good notes in a notebook. I just think loose leaf paper gives you a bit more flexibility. Okay, sorry the camera's moved. My battery died, so I had to charge it for like five minutes. So hopefully it doesn't die before the end of this video. But okay, so the next thing, so the um, loose leaf paper in the flick files, that's how I wrote my final notes. But during class, I would just take rough notes um, in a notebook. So I just bought a notebook for each subject and I use that to take rough notes in class and also do any like exercises and working out in math. So I just kind of put like rough stuff in there that I did in class and then when I got home I'd rewrite like all of my topic notes nicely and put them into those flick files. So I'd also recommend getting a notebook per subject um, and so that's kind of the main things that you need and then the other things you obviously need pens, pencils, ruler, eraser and highlighters um, which is obviously up to your personal preference but I'll just tell you why I use Oh, what is that called? What is that, uh, mm, that pen? I can't remember what it's called. Uh, do I, uh, pilot, fine, tip, pilot, is it? Okay, so for pens, the main pen I used, it was a ballpoint pen. I'm pretty sure it was from Pilot. I'm going to put it on the screen, but I remember it was in the fine tip. And I had that pen in black. And so that's what I used to write heaps of notes and whatnot. And then the other pen that I also used to write my notes and in exams and whatnot. Um, so I kind of switched between that pen and then also the Pentel Energel gel pen, which was, I like to have in a 0.35 millimeter, no, 0.38 millimeter tip. So that's kind of a fine tip as well. So Pentel Energel in black and Pilot, oh, Pilot, pff, no the pilot pen that I'm putting on the screen in black. I used those two pens kind of interchangeably. And then I also did have a red pen and a blue pen. I never used the blue pen. Don't know why I had that. But um, I used the red pen for marking things, like for marking my own maths exercises and stuff. So I think it's kind of helpful to have a red pen. Um, and I just got the red version of the pilot um, ballpoint pen. Um, then pencils. I actually used mechanical pencils because I find pencils that you have to sharpen annoying and a waste of time and they get so dirty they make everything dirty because they've got like the lead obviously um but like if you put those pencils in your pencil case it just like the lead makes everything dirty whereas when you have a mechanical pencil you can retract the lead back into the pencil it doesn't make things dirty um so i use the muji mechanical pencils i just use like the cheap muji ones you can get cheap ones expensive ones i used the cheap ones i put a photo of them on the screen um and they're really really good and then i just bought refills for them throughout the year um they lasted quite a long time the the leads lasted quite a long time and then the pens lasted me for the whole of year 11 and 12 so those are really good um they never broke the switchy thing down was super good had really good erasers on the end and then the mechanical pencils did have erasers on the end and they were good erasers and they worked um the ones from muji but i also did buy just another plain normal eraser from office works um or was it from muji i don't remember i think it was from muji actually yeah so i just had a plain you know white eraser and um, that i used because the ones on the end of the mechanical pencils are really small and so they like ran out um because i make so many mistakes um and so i got just another normal eraser for muji for like 20 cents or something and then for ruler i used one of those rulers that is 30 centimeters but then you can fold it in half and it's 15 centimeters so it fits into your pencil case and i found that super helpful because i don't want a massive pencil case i just want to like small pencil case um and but i also want a 30 centimeter ruler because i i don't need i kind of need a 20 centimeter one 30 centimeters i never really needed full 30 actually no sometimes i did but like 15 centimeters is too short in my opinion so it was good to have that kind of one and it didn't break again and i had it for year 11 12 and it was really good so i'd recommend that um and then highlighters 
I use mostly the Stabilo Boss Pastel Highlighters, which I love the colors of. Um, they lasted such a long time. They lasted like so, so long. They're really, really good. But I will say they do bleed through the paper a little bit. So if you don't like that, um, I also used the mild liners. Um, I'll put the pack of mild liners that I use mostly on the screen here. Um, they're like the pastel ones. They're really, really good and they don't bleed through much at all. And they've lasted me a really long time as well. So I'd recommend those, both those mild liners and the Stabilo Boss ones. They were really good um, and I used them both. Okay, so that's pretty much everything I used. Um, I did also use flashcards at some point during the year, but I'm not a big flashcard person. But I did have like a stash of flashcards that I used at some stage that year. Um, and that's pretty much all. I think I've probably forgotten something, but my camera battery is flashing again, so I had better go. So thank you very much for watching this video. I hope it gave you a bit more of an idea of kind of how I organized my stationery in year 12. And I did pretty much the same thing in year 11 as well. And that worked out pretty well for me. So if you needed some ideas of what stationery to buy, hopefully this video has helped you. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and comment any video suggestions down below because I have a bit of free time coming up in the next couple of months so I would love um, any video suggestions you have. Good luck for back to school. I hope you have a great um, a great school year and a great couple of first weeks back. Yeah it feels weird not to be going back to school but I quite like it. I'm quite glad to be done with school to be honest. <laughs> um, year 12 at the end of year 12 um, you'll be glad to be done with school. I am quite happy to see the back of it but it was a good time while it lasted so enjoy your school years. They are they're fun. Also, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already down below. Click that subscribe button. I've got heaps of travel vlogs from London and the Caribbean coming out. Um, they're, they're already up on my channel. They've started to come out already. I'm going to be just like uploading them periodically. So yeah, subscribe so you don't miss those and heaps of um, other study tips. I filmed like a video on how I got my 99.5 ATAR. So that is already up on my channel. Go check it out. Heaps of exciting videos on this channel and coming out on this channel. So subscribe if you don't want to miss any of them. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.